Hey, we have here today another integral from MIT Integration B 2010, problem number 12. We have this integral from 64 to 729 of x to the 1 half over x to the 1 half minus x to the 1 third dx. Okay, so to start, what I'm going to do is I want to kind of transform this thing. I'm not comfortable with a few different things. Even the bounds are a little scary. What I'm going to do to rewrite this is first I'm going to notice 729 is 3 to the 6th power. So we'll write 729 as 3 to the 6th, and we'll write 64 as 2 to the 6th. And then what I want here is I kind of want a common denominator between all these exponents, but it's going to be a little awkward going from half to a third. And we'll just notice half is the same thing as 3 over 6, and 1 third is the same thing as 2 over 6. So we'll have 6 as our common denominator, and that's nice because we've set our bounds that way. So I'm going to write this as x to the 3 6 x to the 3 6 minus x to the 2 6 dx. But then what I can do is factor an x to the 2 6 out here in the denominator. So we're going to have this is going to be an x to the 1 6, and this is just going to be 1. But then what I'll do is I'll factor 2 6 here with 2 6 here, and then this is going to actually just be x, oh, x to the 1 6. Okay, next I'm going to do a u substitution. So I'm going to call my u just x to the 1 6. Before I take my derivative, let's look at u to the 6 is going to be x. So if we take a derivative, take the derivative, we're going to have dx equals 6 u to the 5th du. Now let's make the substitution. It's kind of easy the way it is. 3 to the 6 to the 1 6 is going to be a 3. 2 to the 6 to the 1 6 is going to be a 2. We'll have u in the denominator for x to the 1 6. Our dx is this, so we're going to have, I'm going to take the 6 up front. Okay, and then we're going to have u to the fifth times du, and then in the denominator, we're going to have u minus 1. Well, u times u to the fifth, this is just going to be u to the sixth. But for a rational function, before we integrate, we're usually going to want a smaller power in the numerator. So I'm going to need to factor this, and let's, to set this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this factor. Well, I'm going to subtract a 1 to get this to work with this, but then I'm going to need to add a 1, so I'm not changing it. Then we can just split this into two integrals. So I'll have this piece that I want to work with this, and then we'll bring the one. And then what I can do is focus on factoring this out to work with our u minus one. So let's see how this is going to go. You can see that one is a zero. If you plug one in, one's a zero of u to the six minus one. So we can write this as u to the minus one times kind of a big long expression. And then for this integral, I'm actually going to just integrate this because this is easy. This is going to be natural log. So we're going to have for this, this is going to be natural log absolute value u minus 1 from 2 to 3. And I think let's just finish this piece off because this is easy. So this is going to be, we're going to have 6 ln, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we're going to have ln of 2. When we plug a 2 in here, we're going to have ln of 1, but that's just 0. So this piece right here is just going to be 6 ln 2. Then we can put our focus on this integral. Now we're going to have our u minus 1's cancel. That's nice. And then this is kind of the tedious part because, okay, this is easy. This is just power rule. But what that means is we're going to have to evaluate this integral for six terms. So it's going to be kind of a mess, but let's keep going. Okay, so again, we just need the power rule on this. Let's do that really quick. Okay, at this point, I don't have like an easy way to do this. So this is just sort of like brute force number crunching. So let's just do this and get it done. Instead of writing this out as like 12 terms or whatever, let's write it like this is 3 to the 6th. Then when we're evaluating 2, we're going to be subtracting. So I'm going to write it like 3 to the 6 minus 2 to the 6 over 6. And we'll do that for all this. Okay, then with this last row, what I did is I got a common denominator of 10, add it all together, you get 10,747 over 10 plus 6 natural log of 2, and that's it. Okay, I'd say that was a pretty good problem up to this point, and then everything below that line was pretty tedious. So let me know if you found any shortcut, because it seems like to try to do this in two minutes was tough. I mean, I think you could do the, you could be fine getting to here pretty quick. I don't know if you can use a calculator or anything, but it seems like to calculate this would take more than two minutes. So this seems kind of slow if you're actually doing this on exam. Anyway, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.